Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick video um, on my DCC wiring for my model railroad. Um, I'll just take you through what I did with the bus wires and the feeder wires um, and might even touch on some of the point wiring. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, this is the um, layout so far. Uh, basically it's comprised of three loops. Um, which has a uh, bus wire running all the way around underneath um, which is joined in basically five areas of the track so in each one of those areas I have six wires coming off running to the three tracks um, just to give it a, uh, a good connection and so I can receive a pretty good signal I could have done more but um, it seemed like a bit of overkill to me um, I also have running off those bus wires um, to my points uh, so um, as you might be able to see there so that I can get rid of the clips I've wired those, those points up as well so that we don't have to have any uh, metal clips in there okay uh, this is where I connect my uh, digital controller um, at this stage it's a Hornby Select, uh, which will be changing out pretty soon. So we've only got two small wires there, so the kids don't hang off it at this stage. But um, I'll take you underneath now and show you some of the wiring. Okay, so there's my two bus wires coming in. Um, basically, they run all the way around underneath in the frame, as you can see. all the way around the layout all the way along okay so just to show you here there's the two bus wires now with the uh, suitcase case clips I've uh, run two wires off that one off the red and one off the black and basically my feeder wires come down through the baseboard and then the suitcase clipped to the wires that I've got running off the bus wire as you can see so you can see the little wires going into the suitcase case clips and that's the three tracks there's one two there one track there another track there and another track there okay guys these are the uh, suitcase clips um, basically you're, uh, the hole you can see going straight through that'll be the, um, the bus wire or the power where you're getting your signal from uh, power and signal and if I turn it around you'll see that on the other side it's blocked off um, so basically if you want to you can you can drill that out and run two wires out of there or if you um, just leave it as is you poke one in there and when you close down this clasp here and then lock that over the top the little grooves in there will um, hit the uh, copper and um, basically give you a connection uh, from one to the other uh, really quick and easy way of doing things and um, I'll just give you a quick demonstration now here we have uh, the clip basically um, let's say this is the uh, bus wire running around your um, board this here will slide through the suitcase clip like that now if you um, have already got it running all the way around your board um, you can also push it in from the side like that so that you can run everything first now what happens next is your feeder wire will go in in the other hole and basically you just grab your pliers clamp down on it and then close the clip off and then you've got a good connection between there and there and your feeder wire and your bus wires running straight through um, if you do make a mistake um, what you have to do is just pull this pull that apart get your screwdriver in there lever it open like so, 
I turn it up. Like that. And then you can pull your little metal clip out again. You know, and take that off and we'll start again. Um, works well. I found it very easy to use and um, yeah, good way of doing it. Okay, now to uh, make my feeder wires, um, basically I used a bit of this uh, um, earth wire. Um, it's got, was it five strands in it, I think? I think it's 2.5 mil earth wire, um, which means each one of these is 0.5 of a mil thick, or maybe a mil, maybe it's something like that. Anyway, these are, um, I think they're about 0.5 or 0.7. I think it works out to be. Yeah, because there's four strands in there. It's about 0.7 mil thick. Now what I did is I just stripped stripped that out of the earth wire like that. And this metal part is what I used uh, to come straight down through my board. And I actually connected this part directly into the feeder part of the clip. Um, I found it just a lot easier to solder. Um, to the board. Um, what I used to do is run this through the uh, sleeper so that you can hardly see it. It just looks like a, um, a pin in the sleeper. Um, and yeah, it, it works really well. So I'll show you the, uh, the finished product of the end because basically what you do is you squash it on the end, bend it to a right angle and then um, cut it to length. I'll uh, show you that now. Okay, so here's the um, feeder wire now that I've uh, squashed it and bent it at a right angle. As you can see, I'll show you it that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll end up putting this end up the top. That little right angle part will sit on top of the track or on, on the bottom of the track and get soldered to the track and you won't even know it's there. Um, especially once you do a bit of weathering or, or painting. Um, it just disappears. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that now. Okay guys, well I've selected a um, section of the track and um, now what I do is I just cut off the top with my Stanley knife of one of the track tyres on this side and one of the track tyres on the other side. You can choose whether to do it on the inside or the outside. And now we've got two flat sections that I'll drill a hole through right now. So there you go, I've uh, drilled through both the sleepers and um, Basically what you'll need to do next is grab your feeder, here's my feeder, already done, ready to go. That just slides straight down through there, like so. And you grab it from underneath, twist it to where you want it. Like that, just give it a little click. And there it is there. Okay, there you have it. Uh, there's the um, track feeder. Just looks like basically one of the track tyres there. Put a little, um, little bit of solder on it. Uh, and it works really well. Well, now we're under the table. Here we have, this is the end of the um, the bus wire that runs all the way around. Um, basically what I'm going to do is join in my uh, to my red. My red wires are my inside to my track. So basically what I'll do is I will join in here like that. So that's got my bus wire running through there. And I'll also put my feeder wire in 
Now this feeder wire is going to go and feed this one, this one and another one over there. So now that I've got that there, clamp it up and close it up. Now that's done. Okay, so another thing I usually do is um, trim these down to about 20 mil long. Just so there's not too much of the copper hanging out that's exposed. Right, so basically, again, this wire now, because it's feeding these, becomes the, feed, the uh, bus wire, basically. Okay, so that goes right the way through, and then we'll travel on to the next one. Meanwhile, this one here will slide up onto there. And I'll close that off. There you go, we've got a good connection there. Done, and that'll move on to the next one. And then the following one over there. And that's now got power. Well, I think that's all you need to know about um, bus wiring and feeder wiring um, I find, found that the simplest way to do things so I hope it helped um, yeah if you uh, if you like the video please like it um, feel free to comment and ask questions I'll get back to you and um, yeah if you want to subscribe um, I'm going to be going through step by step with the rest of the layout and um, show you everything that I'm doing and um, how I'm doing it and you can learn from my mistakes and hopefully I can help you. Alrighty, good luck with everything. See ya. Um, when you come to doing your turnouts, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, just use the same techniques as you did before. Um, basically, the part of the turnout that you're going to be wiring on an intro frog is that one and that one there. The That one there and that one there. Um, basically, uh, draw your hole, drop down your um, feeder wire, solder it off, and then connect them to your bus wire. Um, it's very simple, very quick, using exactly the same technique. Now the, um, the wires, the feeder wires, that you connect to here, will be the same colour as the one you connected to this one here, this outside track. And the one you connect to here will be the same colour as the, this one here. Okay, so it's all pretty easy, just um, follow the track and you can't go wrong.